Hi, I'm Jimmy the Scott. I'm going to teach you how to play video poker today. We're going to discover about 12 to 15 of the very latest and newest in video poker machines, plus some of the old ones. Yeah, I've been around this town for uh, about 35 years now. I remember in 1976 when I was working downtown at the Hotel California, came into work one day and I noticed these new machines and people playing video poker on them and I thought, boy, interesting, new, different. I wonder how long this fad will last. Well, little did I realize within a year it was sweeping the country and by 1978, Casinos had them all over Las Vegas, they're in Reno, they're in Tahoe, they're all over the country already. Video poker, they're interesting because you have some input. It's not like the regular slot machines. Well, you put in a quarter, you pull a handle, and you got just as good a chance to win as I have. But on video poker, there's a little bit of smart involved, a little bit of intelligence involved in the draw. A good draw will always play better than a bad draw. And I know it's just luck. You might have two pair, you might have a possible straight, and you keep the two pair and, and, and you come up with a full house. Or you keep the straight and you fill up the straight, the four card straight. It's just a matter of pure luck, I know that. But it's when those five cards come out of that machine, that's where we separate the men from the boys. Now as far as percentages go on these things, the dollar machines take about 3% to 4% on an average. In this casino, all the dollar machines, at the end of the year, this casino will hold 3% of all the money put into their dollar machines. They know that. They're in the business. They take about 8% off quarter machines. Why? Because it takes longer to put the money in. See, dollar machines, you put the money in faster, then take a smaller percentage. You get down to nickel machines, you're talking about 15%, which is a tough rate. But at least your money lasts longer. And when you're gambling, and don't tell me you're a gambler if you play video poker. I'm sick and tired of people saying I'm a gambler. What do you play? Video poker. You're playing a game. You're not a gambler until you can make money at it, until you can make money more often at it, until you know what you're doing, until you're intelligent, until you budget yourself, until you play smart. Then you become a video poker player who is a gambler. But just because you're a video poker player doesn't mean you're a gambler, pal. So I'm going to help you to play smarter and play better and play sharper. I'm going to tell you what to look for in these machines and how to pick good machines and stories about people that know how to select the 100% slot machines. Yes, 100% slot machines. You see, these machines are relatively simple. Inside all video poker machines, and this is all video poker machines now and all machines, period, they've got little computer chips and is the best way I know to describe how luck works into this. There's a little computer chip inside these machines with 150,000 little zits on there. And each zit is 10 cards, 10 cards, 10 cards, 10 cards, 10 cards. Over that little chip there's a laser flashlight about the size of a needle and it's always wiggling and squiggling. And every time you put your, your one coin in that machine, your first coin, zap, it hits one of the zits in that chip and that tells your wheels what to stop on. It could be two of a kind, could be three pair, probably nothing. 56% of those chips are nothing in that machine, but there are four royal flushes on that chip. You say out of 150,000 zits, there are four royal flushes? Yeah, each zit is 10 card, 10 card, 10 card, 10 card. Why? So your odds are about 40,000 to one of hitting a royal flush. That's really tough, I know. But jacks are better, you'll get jacks are better. About every fifth time you'll hit a jacks are better on this machine. Oh, about every eighth time, and I'll, you'll, get, you'll get two pair, and I'll get more into percentages in just a minute because that's what's going to make you a good gambler. Now they've got 57 different kinds of these video poker machines, and soon it's going to go to 100. There's no end. I'm going to show you some machines that just came out here at the Stardust just last week. Yeah, I like to play at the Stardust. This is the place on the strip. That, and all casinos are pretty well the same. They all get these new machines. As soon as they come out, as soon as they're popular at one casino, they hear about it at another casino, and these machines take off all over town. So what you see in this casino, you'll see in other casinos, I hope, if they're a good casino, of course. That's why I like to play here at the Stardust myself. So let me get in these machines. And when you walk up to the video poker machines, the first thing you've got to look at is the belly glass. That's down here. That's the belly glass of the name of the machine. Whether it's double bonus or triple bonus or jacks are better or deuces wild or whatever it's going to be, that's where you read your machine. And then what's next most important, you got to get up into this pay glass. Now let's get into this pay glass. Now here's what you got to look at when you walk up to any video poker machine is the payoffs, especially for one coin. This is for your second, third, fourth, and fifth coin, but we usually talk about one coin payoffs on video poker machines. Now on this machine you get one you get your money back for jacks are better. Means it pays one, means you put five in, you get five out, you get your money back. Two pairs where you start getting really two to one for your money, that's where you put five in, you'll get ten back. Three of a kind pays three to one, a straight pays four to one, a flush pays six to one, a full house pays nine to one. Now it's right in this area here that's very important to look at on all video poker machines. Here, four of a kind pays 25, remember that. Straight flush pays 50, remember that. Royal flush pays 250, and that's pretty well standard on most machines that I'm going to show you on this videotape. Now, <clears throat> Some machines only pay five for a flush and eight for a full house. They're not as good as the 6-9 machine, of course. 
The straights usually pay four on most machines, some of them pay five. Now your odds of hitting these, your odds of hitting jacks or better is five to one. In other words, every fifth hand you will hit at least a pair of jacks or better, that's the odds in the machine. The odds of you hitting two pair, eight to one. Now the odds of hitting three of a kind jumps to about 50 to one, straight is about 60 to one, a flush is about 70 to one, and a full house is about 90 to one. So right in this area, you're talking 50, 60, 70, and 90 to one odds. That means on that computer chip, there's probably just as many three of a kinds on there as there are straights, as there are flushes, and of course there are a few more full houses on there. But every time a full house comes out in your draw, you get paid nine for one coin. Of course, for your fifth coin, you get 45 coins back. The odds of hitting four of a kind is about 300 to one. Now that's usually on most machines where they divide the men from the boys. Usually on most machines you have the same amount of, of straight flushes and flushes and three of a kind on there. Some kid in California has to make up the computer chip that's in there. He has to put on so many jacks that better on that chip, so many two pair on that chip, so many three of a kind. But when it gets around the, the, the four of a kind, he knows on this chip to put 280. On the next chip he might put 320. That's why they vary their percentages because each chip is a different percent. Some machines are 1%, some machines are 2%, some machines are 3% chip. They can have a 300% chip if they want, which they usually do on some of these slot tournaments. But on most of these video poker machines, they're around 4 to 5%. They're 8% on quarter machines on regular standard machines, but a little bit better on video poker because of the intelligence involved in your draw. So they make it a little bit better. You gotta play it perfect in order for this machine to be a 1% machine if they got a 1% chip in there. And I'm gonna talk more about that later on in the program. By the way, the odds of hitting a straight flush jumps up to 5,000 to one, and the odds of hitting a raw flush is 40,000 to one. As I told you, out of 150,000 zits in that computer chip, there are only four of a kinds on there. And they're not gonna fool you when the cards come up. The best way I like to describe it is this. There's five cards in front, five cards behind, and whatever card you throw away in front, there's one behind ready to take its place. You say it's fixed. No, it's not fixed. Why did they do that? Because on that computer chip, they've got to know how many raw flushes are on there, how many straight flushes, how many flushes, how many straights, how many, how many full houses are on there. So at the end of the year, through normal play, that machine will hold its designed chip percentage. And if somebody discovers there's a 100% chip in this machine, and they do have 100% chips, I'll tell you about them, they might take that chip out and put it in the next machine and change that chip and put it in this machine tonight at midnight so they can interchange these chips. They don't want smart players coming in and finding out the best paying slot machines and playing only those machines. Of course, there's nothing wrong with it, but they play better than most people and, and casinos really don't like them. Okay, so now we're going to start to play. And when you start to play, you got to look at these buttons on the machine. Now, these are for holding and canceling your cards. I mean, you get a card up there and you want to hold it, you press the hold button. If you don't like it, press the same button and it'll cancel that card again. So you got to hold a pair or hold three of a kind or hold your straight or hold your flush. But before you start, you got to bet one credit, which you can bet one, two, or three credits, or if you want to just bet the max, just press five credits, and the max will come up every time. I always pay the max because on most machines you get a bonus for, for your raw flush, as you do on this machine here. You see, for the first coin you get 250, then 500, then 750, then 1,000, and for your fifth coin it jumps a whopping 3,000 up to that $1,000. Here you're only getting $250. Never put four coins in a machine. If you're going to play a game, play one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. I see some people doing that. God love you. But if you're here to make money and you want to play fast and get it out of the way, get the pain over, put that fifth coin in all the time, go right for that straight bonus. This is your deal and your draw button over here. And anytime you, you, you win and you get credits on the machine and you want to cash out, press the cash out button and all your cash will come out of the machine. And if you're playing at bars, make sure you go to the bar machine and, and uh, check the hole underneath because you might have a bonus down there too. Sometimes coins fall through a machine and they'll go into a, what's called a discard tray. Okay, the first thing you got to do is get your slot club card, and I'm going to tell you more about that too during this program, and put it right in the machine. Now, always do this, says hello to you. Always do this at all casinos that you come to because you get bonuses and this is what's going to bring your percent down just a half a percent see all the money that goes into these machines it goes into a slot club card and people get money back i go up there i get 10 20 bucks back hey that's a percentage that buys me another two rolls of quarters that might hit my raw flush for me that's important and most machines nowadays have your insert you don't have to run around looking for a change girls where's the change girl where's the change girl just put your money in the machine and the machine will accept your 10 dollar bill 20 dollar bill 50 dollar bill 100 dollar bill that is providing the machine likes your money if it doesn't like your money then you're in trouble that's why i always carry a spare 20 dollar bill in case one of them doesn't work I like to put in 20 bucks at a time. So I get 80 credits and now I'm going to start playing the machine. So the, I'm going to bet five at a time. 
So I'm not going to bother with the one, two, three, four uh, 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 credit button. I'm just going to play five credits every time, and I'm going to give you a couple of tips on, on good playing. Now, here's the first five cards come out of the machine. You got a pair of fours? I'm going to hold a pair of fours. No chance for a straight there, uh, no chance for a flush, no chance for anything else. I held a pair of fours, and now I draw. Let's see what I get. Okay, that wasn't the best hand in the world, but you're not going to win all the time. You've got to take your winning with your losses. Okay, now this next hand. We're starting off pretty good. We've got a pair of tens over here, but I also got a ten and an ace. Now, a pair of tens, I don't even get my money back because I need a pair of jacks. You better to get my money back. So I go for the royal all the time. If I keep that pair of tens on my draw, I can't get a royal flush. I can't get a straight flush. I can't get a flush. I can't get a straight. I just killed four of the top five payoffs on my machine on my draw. How in the hell am I going to get rich doing that? So I always go for the royal. I'll hold the ten and the ace because they're suited. When I got two face cards suited and a low pair, I'll keep the two face cards suited. Let's see what happens. Hey, it didn't work, but you're not going to win all the time. Okay, pair of jacks. Now I can't lose this time. I already win and lights up in the machine. Jacks are better. I hope I get another pair of jacks. Uh, that'll give me four of a kind or another pair or anything. Three of a kind. Let's see what happens. Hey, I got three jacks out of it, so this time I won 15 quarters. I'm up to where I got a credit in the machine. You can press one at a time and all five will go in your machine if you want. Now here's a point where I got two face cards, I got a seven, a nine, and a jack. Well, I'm not going to go for the straight flush. What do I need? I need an eight and a ten of spades. The odds are too high. The odds of drawing two cards to a flush alone is 23 to one. So two cards to, a, to an inside straight, even an inside straight flush is hardly not worth a gallon of doll. Now should I hold that face card and that face card? Because a pair of jacks give my money back or a pair of kings give my money, 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 money back? No, I don't do that. I'll tell you why. Because if I hold both those face cards that are not suited on my draw, I can't get a real flush, I can't get a straight flush, I can't get a flush. Again, I just killed three of the top five pairs on my machine on my draw. So I'm not going to hold both face cards. It kills too many good pairs on the machine. I'm going to hold one. Which one? The low card. Why the low card? Well, I got more chance to get a straight with a low card. He said, keep the king, I've only got two chances to get a straight. 9, 10, jack, queen, king, 10, jack, queen, king, ace. If I hold a jack, I got four chances to get a straight. I got 7, 8, 9, 10, jack, 8, 9, 10, jack, queen, 9, 10, jack, queen, king, 10, jack, queen, king, ace. Open up my area for catching a straight by holding the low card over the high card. So keep that trick in mind. I'll hold the jack, then I'll hold the queen, then I'll hold the king, and I'll hold the ace last. The difference between kings and aces is immaterial, but I kind of like to feel what, what cards are running on the machine because when that kid in California is making that computer chip, sometimes he gets into a habit of putting more threes on the chip lately and fives on the chip lately. The kid, when he's making up these chips, will sometimes get into a streak. So I kind of watch which cards are streaking. If it's an ace or a king, I'll take my either choice. But when it comes to a king or a jack, it's automatic. Keep the low card. Let's see what happens. A lot of talking for nothing. Okay, this time I got a chance for a straight, an inside straight. Now, a lot of people say you shouldn't do that. Well, I'll tell you what. On a Jackson better machine, I kind of would. Remember I told you on this machine there are, there are uh, uh, 60 straights on this machine. You say, well, hold it, Jack, you got a good chance to get your money back. I don't want my money back. I'm not here to get my money back. I'm here to get their money back. So in this case, I'll go for an inside on a machine. It's not like real poker. Now, in real poker, you wouldn't hold to an inside straight. The odds are 11 to 1, and you got probably two tough hands there on the table that's ready to jump on you because you're not going to make that draw at 11 to 1. But on a machine, it's not too bad. Let's see what happens this time. Ah, it didn't work. Okay, here's my choice again. I got a king or an ace this time. Uh, I don't hold both because they're not suited. I'm certainly not going to hold the three clubs and try to go for a straight flush, or a uh, flush, pardon me. As I say, the odds are, t uh, are too high. A four card, if that was a king of uh, clubs, I'd keep the four clubs, of sure, but it's not. Now, which one should I hold in this case? The king or the ace? Remember I told you I have a choice? Well, my choice in this is the king, and I'll tell you why. Because if I throw away the ace, I'm also throwing away two clubs, and uh, that means there's only ten more clubs in the deck that can give me a, a flush if I hold the ace. Well, right now, if I hold the king, I got twelve more cards in there that'll give me a flush. So in this case, I'll hold the king over the ace. Again, it didn't work. Uh, here's my choice again, nine or a, a king or, or a, a nine. Now here's a tough one because, as I told you, um, I like to hold the jack over the king because uh, uh, the lower card, I got more chance. I got four chances to get straight here. I've only got two chances to get a straight. But again, there's three spades out. So here's one of my tough choices. I got three spades out versus one diamond out. This time, I think I'll go for the diamond. As a matter of fact, I think kings have been running on the machine anyways. No, they haven't. Boy, am I right today.
seems every time you want to do a, a videotape on, on a video poker, nothing ever happens. There's a lady that's supposed to be an expert. She called uh, 48 hours into town, and they followed her around for a whole day, and she's an expert on video poker. She lost her butt. <laughs> it happens on these machines. But I'm just here to show you how to play these machines, how to relax in the machines, how to have fun in the machines, and I'll give you a couple of tips on, on how to play these machines. In this case, it's that automatic pair of sevens. Now, I wouldn't hold a jack to get money back or an ace to get my money back or the ace in the jack. Some people hold the ace in the jack. They feel like I got two chances to get my money back. I don't want to get my money back. I'm not here to get my money back. Hold the pair of sevens. Go for the gold. So it's going to make you a winner eventually. All these times you got to go, oh, now here's a dynamite draw. Now here's what you call a superior draw. Now let's see what happens here, my friends. How about I hold a pair of kings? I can't lose. I can't lose. I'll get my money back for sure. No, not very likely. We got a four card royal. Now, I get that ace of clubs right here. I get $1,000. And wouldn't that be nice to happen on camera? Cross your fingers big time. Give me the nine of clubs. I'll take 250 quarters. Everybody got their hands crossed, fingers crossed, legs crossed, eyes crossed. Here we go. Got a straight out of it. Uh, three clubs, pair of queens is an easy one. Just hold a pair of queens. Uh, let's get another queen out of this. Still get my money back. Trying to get some interesting hands here to show you if I can get something to come up on the machine. But again, three spades, uh, no chance for a straight flush, so I won't do that. I only go for a straight flush if I have like a four, five, six, or a seven, eight, nine. If I got three clubs or three spades or three diamonds or three hearts that are together, four, five, six, then in that case I go for a straight flush. But even if this was like a, a four, six, eight, uh, I wouldn't go for the straight flush. It's, it's too big. They've got to be together. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's when I go for a straight flush. Here, I hold the jack of the ace. You know my answer. They're not suited. Don't keep two face cards when they're not suited. You do have a slightly better chance to get your money back. I don't want to get my money back. I hold the low card. i got more chance to get a straight that way. Darn near. Well, one of these times we're going to get a real intro. Oh, there's a good interesting hand. Now there's a possible uh, a flush coming up now. And you wouldn't hold a queen, of course. Four card flush. Let's see if we get that club. Ah, oh, we didn't. Son of a gun. Now here's an easy one. Pair aces and a pair of nines. Now listen, on some machines where you get one for jacks or better and one for two pair, I wouldn't hold the two pair in this case. I'd only hold the pair of aces because I get one for jacks or better and one for two pair. I get the same. You say, but you might get a full house. That's true. But on the next machine that I'm going to show you, four aces and I get a big jackpot. So keep that little trick in mind. But on a jacks or better machine, you keep the two pair and hope for a full house. Ah, turn that around. Uh, bad hand, uh, nothing to hold but the king. Interesting hand, you got a 9-10 jack uh, king, you can go for a straight if you want. You got a three card flush, you want to go for the flush, why don't we just go for the royal flush and hold the 10 jack. So use some common sense and watch and take your time when you're playing these machines, please. Possible Royal Flush coming up here again. Boy, if we could get that Club Royal Flush, we'd be $1,000 richer. Let's go. Ah, not even a straight. Pair Aces, another easy one. I just hope you get the rhythm of this and the idea of this and take your time. I'll tell you more about how much money this is going to cost you in just a few minutes. Well, we got our money back. Three hearts, never hold two cards. Only when you get a four card flush would you hold four hearts. Then you hold a four card flush. I'll even throw away a pair of jacks to keep a four card flush, to go for that flush. I like to go for the money. I like to go for whatever it offers me, the most money that I can get. But in this case, I would just hold a jack, that's all. Double our money. Now here's a pair of fives. Uh, face cards are no good to you. Some people will hold all three of them, hoping to get their money back. Say, I got a real good chance to get my money back. Yeah, you do have, but I, again, I'm not here to get my money back. Let's get those fives. Two pair. Oh, here's an easy one. A pair of aces. Give me a couple more aces now. Pair of nines, nice easy one. So as you can see, playing these machines, just use some common sense, some good judgment. Don't be afraid to ask the person next to you if you need any help. People next to you will be glad to help you. 
Yeah, I think you got the idea. That's pretty good. Uh, the ace is the one to hold here. Uh, you can't get a six, seven of hearts. Some people say, why do you go for the six, seven of hearts? I said again, if that was a four, five, six of hearts, I'd hold it. But hold, getting a six and a seven in there is too tough even for a straight flush. So only when they're in a row would I go like four, five, six of hearts would I go for a straight flush. Here, the ace is the answer. Let's go for that royal. Let's get some money back here. Okay, let's get one good one out of this. Hurricane, you say, why don't you go for the Royal? Nah, it's too much of a long shot. In this case, I can't lose. Anytime you gamble and you can't lose, man, you gotta love the gamble. Pair aces, that's a nice easy one. Jack's got nothing to do with it. Come on, let's get a good one here. An interesting hand here. You got a pair of sixes. I would hold the pair of sixes in this case. You say, how about that three card uh, straight flush? Again, you got two cards. If it was a five, six, seven, I would. If there was a six, seven, eight, I would. Three in a row, I would. But this is far too far out. I'll just keep the king on this one. Just using some common sense. That's what's going to make you a good video poker player. And of course, a lot of luck too. Now here's the bonus poker machines. Now the next few machines are really going to be interesting and we're going to watch the pays on this machine. Now where do you look at the pay? Well, you get up here to the pay table and you look at what the machine pays for one coin. Now the fifth coin, we'll worry about that. And on all machines, we don't worry about that. Here's what we're interested in. What does this machine pay for one coin? Well, on a pair of jacks or better, it pays one, just like the jacks or better machine that we were just playing. Two pair pays two, three of a kind pays three, straight pays four, and that's the same as the last machine that we were just playing. But look, 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 for a flush and a full house, this machine only pays five, seven. The last machine we played was a six, nine. Six, nine is usually the standard for most good video poker machines. Although I've seen some machines go to 710, but where they get over 69, they start taking money from the from there and adding it to the bottom. I don't want more money in the bottom. If I want anything, I want more money in here and it gives me a better chance to get more money in the top. So to get more money in here now, you got to get progressives. Now what's a progressive? That means every time you put coins in the machine, a progressive builds up, builds up, builds up, kind of like a jackpot till somebody hits it, then it goes back down, then it builds up, builds up, builds up, somebody hits it, goes back down. And where are those progressives? Right here. And on this machine, you not only get a progressive for the royal flush and the straight flush, you also get a progressive for all your four of a kinds. So you really got to go for four of a kind when you're playing this machine. Now, if you get four fives through four kings with one coin in, you get 25. Four twos, threes, or four fours, you get 40 for one coin. For four aces on this machine, you get 80, $20 for just one quarter. And if you want to play one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, God love you. That's your business. You can do that if you want. And it pays 50 for a straight and 250 for a raw flush, the same as the last machine that we were just playing. This is a little bit better over here. Look at what you get for your fifth coin. That's why in machines, when you got progressives, you always kind of put the full amount of coins in all machines, please. You see, if you play one coin, one coin, one coin, one coin, one coin, you don't have a chance to win this extra money. And I'll tell you what, every time you're putting one coin in, you're adding to my jackpot because I come along, I play five coins, and I got a chance to win money that you've been contributing to my jackpot where you never did have a chance to win at all. So when you're playing progressives, please put the full amount of coins in all machines, please. Matter of fact, most machines you should. You say, well, I can't afford to put $5 into a dollar machine. Well, then you can't afford a dollar machine. I suggest you play five quarters in a quarter machine. That only costs you a buck and a quarter every time you play a hand. You say, well, that's a bit expensive too. Then go to the nickel machines and play five nickels. Put five in. It's only costing you two bits. You say, well, it's a higher percentage. Well, I'm sorry, but that's all you can afford. So make sure you consider your budget when playing slot machines. That's most important if you want to be a good slot player. But look at on this machine for four fives through four kings with five coins in you get thirty one dollars for four twos four threes or four fours you get sixty two dollars look at this for four aces a hundred and twenty one bucks now that's what i like in these machines i like getting those four aces you even get a progressive for a straight flush ninety four dollars and the royal flush right now is at a thousand and ninety six dollars and it'll keep going up a penny a penny a penny a penny until somebody hits it and all that money goes into one big jackpot these are called bonus Poker machines. Locals know they're good machines.
So here's the double bonus poker machines. Double bonus poker. Now make sure you copy all these down and compare all these machines because here's where you're going to have to look at all the different payoffs and get used to them and get interested in them because all machines are slightly different and you got to know before you gamble what you're gambling for. Now here's your first coin and here's your fifth coin of course. First coin. Here you get one for a pair of jacks or better and look, look, look. Here you get one for two pair. Here you get three for three of a kind, but look, you get five for a straight. The other two machines I just showed you paid four, and this is a seven-nine machine. Now that's even better than a six-nine machine. So right in here, this is a very good machine to play, and they'll still even give you bonuses for four of a kind, but on the last machine, where you got a bonus for the straight flush and royal flush, remember on the progressive? Well, you don't have that on this machine. It's a straight payoff, so they can put a little more money into here and into here, because they're also taking it away from the bottom. You get two pair a lot on these machines, bought every eighth hand, and instead of getting two, you only get one, so you get cheated there, but I don't mind getting cheated there. Here's where I want to get more money, and especially here is what I really look at. Four of a kind, four fives through kings, you get 50. Four twos, four threes, and four fours, you get 80. Four aces, you get 160. Now remember these payoffs, please. And for example, on this machine here, where you got a pair of twos and a pair of fours, I would hold a two pair, because I want to get my money back at least. But if this was like a pair of jacks, I wouldn't keep the pair of deuces. I would only keep the pair of jacks. You say, but Jimmy, you got a pair of jacks and a pair of deuces. I know, but I get my money back and a pair of jacks are better, so I can afford to throw away the two deuces because I get even money for jacks are better. I get even money for two pair. You say, but you might get a full house. Nevertheless, I might get four of a kind, and it's four of a kind on this machine that pays you the big money. Now here's the triple bonus poker machine. And all these exciting bonus machines are interesting when you really get into them. But get up to this play, pay glass now. Here you get one for a pair of kings or better. It's got to be a pair of kings or better now. Not a pair of jacks or better anymore. Now it's a pair of kings or better. So a pair of queens and a pair of jacks doesn't do any darn good on this machine. Remember that. That's why you got to read your machine. Two pair, you only get one. Just like the double bonus poker, one, one. You get three for three of a kind. You only get four for a straight. That's gone down from the last machine. And here you get seven. 10, 7, 10, 10, that's the best yet. But you see, they're taking it from the queens and the jacks and adding it to the full house. But that's where I want more of my money anyways, in that area and especially in here. Now, you don't get any bonuses for the straight flush of the four of a kind. That's a regular progression. First coin, second coin, third, fourth, up to the fifth coin. But here's where you're interested. This one pays for four, five, two, four kings, 75. The last machine only paid 50. For four twos, four threes, and four fours, you get 120. The last machine, you only got 80. See, this is a triple bonus machine. And for four aces, 240. The last machine only paid 160. Get into those payoffs. Okay, here's the double, double bonus poker. Double, 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 double. Get up to that pay glass right away. And look at this interesting pay glass. Double, double bonus. Pair of jacks are better. Get your money back. Two pair, you only get one. Remember that. So if I got like two low pair, I'll keep it. But if I got a high pair, like a pair of jacks and a pair of deuces, I'll throw away the pair of deuces. I get my money back for a pair of jacks anyways. You say, but you keep the pair of jacks, pair of deuces, you got a good chance to catch that full house. I don't want the full house. I'll keep the pair of jacks because here's where you get your money up here on the big four of a kind. Now this pays a 5-9. This is a 5-9 machine. Now compared to a 6-9, it's not as good. They're taking it from down here. They're taking it a little bit from here instead of a 6-9. It's only 5-9, but they're adding it up here. Here's where you get more of your bonuses. And by the way, on a Royal Flush, it progresses right up to 4,000. It starts at 250 on most machines, but I have seen some machines where Royal Flushes start at 300. So make sure you check that out on the machines too. 5-9 machine. Now the big bonus here, let's point it out, four of a kind. Four fives through four kings, you get 50. For four twos, four threes, and four fours, you get 80. For four aces, you get 160, but now look, look, look. For four twos, four threes, or four fours, with any ace or deuce, you get a bonus 160 for four twos, four threes, and four. Instead of 80, you get 160. There's your double, double bonus. And for four aces, with a two, a three, or a four, you get 400. Now that's where you really make your money in this machine. Look for these good machines.
Now here's the Aces bonus poker machine. These machines are interesting to play, all these bonus machines. Now get up to that pay glass right away. Now this machine, for jacks are better, you get one. Now I remember the previous machine, two machines ago, I told you get kings are better, you get one. Well this is back to jacks are better. And I've seen much, some machines that pay tens are better. Be sure to read your machine. Where they pay you one for tens are better, they're giving you more on the bottom, aren't they? Well they're probably taking something from the middle or the top to add to the bottom. See all they do is add to the middle or add to the top or add to the bottom on these machines. Read them. You get two for two pair, three for three of a kind, four for straight, that's pretty well standard, just like a jacks or better machine. But instead of six nine, we got five eight here. Five for a flush, eight for a full house. Five eight's okay, especially on bonus machines, you won't get better than that. Now up here for a royal flush and straight flush, you get straight just like on jacks or better. For your fifth coin, you get a thousand dollars. I've seen some royal flushes that start at three hundred too, so make sure you read that. Now here are your bonuses on this Aces bonus machine. For four of a kind, four fives through four kings, with one coin in, you get 25 back. On four twos, four threes, or four fours, with one coin in, you get 40 back. Four of a kind, any aces, four of a kind, you get 80 back, but look, 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 they got special aces on this machine. Small call special aces, or dollar aces, or easy aces, you get four of those, you get 250, and look, 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 look. If you got your fifth coin in, you get $1,000 for four special aces. Aces bonus poker machine pays 4,000 coins on any roll flush or on special aces. Bonus pay, especially with five coins bet. These new IGT machines are really nice. Love to play here at the Stardust. And here's what that ace looks like, by the way. It's got an E on it. That's one of your special machines. You'd hold that for sure. Hold the queen, go for the roll flush. Okay, here they are, the progressives. Now, if you want to know where the better progressives are, that is the higher progressives, ask a change girl, they'd be glad to help you. As a matter of fact, this machine yesterday was over 2,000. Somebody hit it, goes back to 1,000, and now it's up back up to 1,026. Okay, it's a regular 25% draw poker machine. Well, we've got to get into our payoffs here. What does it pay for jacks or better? One, two pair, two, three of a kind, three, a straight, four, that's pretty well standard. But here it's a five eight machine, five for a flush, eight for a full house, and standard four of a kind, 25, straight flush 50, royal flush 250. You got to compare these progressives. Now this machine right now is at $1,026 for five coins in. You got to have the fifth coin in to get the progressive. And I recommend when you're playing progressives, always put the full amount of coins in, or if you're going to play one, two, or three coins, you'd be better off to go back to the first machine I showed you and play six, nine machines, because you get the same pay for everything and more for your flush and your full house. See here, they've taken it away from the flush and the full house, and they've added it up to the top. Now you say, which one of these machines is the best machine to play to hit that progressive, Jimmy? They're all the same. It's a matter of getting lucky on every computer chip and all these machines, there are four royal flushes. But I'll tell you this, whether you put one roll a quarter in 10 machines or 10 rolls a quarter in one machine, you have exactly the same chance of winning. So good luck on any machine, but for sure, compare and read those payoffs, please. Okay, here's another progressive, but look, 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 this is a deuces wild progressive. Now don't confuse the regular progressives with the deuces wild progressives. Matter of fact, the deuces wild progressives should be lower because a little bit more of them get hit for some strange reason. I don't know, it's probably the deuces, the wild cards that keep people alive longer so they get a longer chance to play these machines to eventually win. Now don't forget to use those, those uh, club cards for sure. Put those in your machine. Now let's get into these payoffs right up here on top. The payoffs on this machine. Look for three of a kind, you only get even money. Three of a kind, you only get even money. You don't get money back for tens or better, or jacks or better, or even a pair of kings, or even two pair. Two pair, you don't get anything. Three of a kind, you get your money back. So two pair is no good in these deuces wild machines. Keep that in mind, and I'm gonna play some hands for you and give you some examples in just a minute. A straight here only pays two, a flush only pays two, a full house only pays three. Look at four of a kind, four. Now when you're looking around at Deuces Wild Machines, you say, is that good or is that bad, Jimmy? Well, I'll show you a couple of more Deuces Wild payoffs in just a few minutes on other machines. You can compare yourself. You should write all these down and compare yourself. But here's usually where they get different. Four of a kind, some machines pay five. On Deuces Wild, I like Deuces Wild Machines that pay five for four of a kind, remember that. Straight flush, you only get 10. Five of a kind, you only get 15. You see, you got four wild cards now, you can get five of a kind. If you get a royal flush with a deuce, you get paid 25, just, just like a regular machine for one coin in uh, uh, for, for, for four of a kind. 
Here you get 25 for Royal Flush with deuces. If you get four deuces, here you get 200 coins. If you get a Royal Flush, you get 250 coins with one coin in. But of course, you want to play the full amount of machines because we're playing a progressive, and the progressive jackpot right now on this machine is at $1,300. Now, when you put your slot club cards into these machines, they'll say, hello, how are you today? And make sure you always put them in, and when you leave your machine, always take them out for your next machine, because you build up those points, and it's like blue chip stamps, where eventually you got a chance to maybe get some extra money from the casino. I'm putting a $20 bill in the machine now. There's a nice coin acceptor. You don't have to look for change girls, but if you wanted a change girl, you just press the button, change, a light comes on your machine, the change girl will see it, she'll come over and look after you, but I don't mind playing the credits. It's the same deal. Same buttons as regular machines. Make sure you check those buttons though. Some of them could be a little bit different. If you don't want credits, you can press your credit button twice and cash comes out all the time. But I don't mind credits. It keeps your hands a little bit cleaner. Okay, we got our money in. We got our Stardust Slot Club card in and we're all ready to go. And uh, let's see uh, what we can uh, get in these machines. I always play five, of course. I'm going for the Royal. I got nothing here. No chance for a straight, no chance for a flush. So you draw it all. Just get five new cards. Now, you don't get so many pays on these machines. What you do is you get a lot of little pays in the machines, but not too many big pays. Now, here I've got a chance for a pair of sevens and go for more. Do some wild machine, or i got a four-card flush. I think I'll keep the four-card flush, though, especially with Deuces Wild. I like this draw, and it worked. Now, what do we got here? Look at this. This is an interesting hand. Now, we got three nines, which gives our money back. I don't want my money back, but look at this. We got three cards for a royal, if I want to go for the wild royal, but I've also got a nine of spades, so I can get, I would hear I'd go for the straight flush, that's for sure. Because if I get a straight flush right now, I'll get 50 quarters, and that's over $10. So what do I need here when I draw? I need a 10 of spades to come in, or another wild card. Or any spade, of course, will give me a flush, or any 10 will give me at least a straight on this machine. Now, I kind of think when there's five cards in front, five cards behind, let's see if that card is in there right now. Let's draw this one. Got three of a kind, I got my money back. Uh, here's the chance for a Royal Flush with a 10 jack. I don't mind a two card Royal Flush on these machines. Now, it's no use holding anything on this, because if I hold the jack, on a jack's a better machine, I hold the jack, of course. Now, on a Deuces Wild, a five, six, seven, eight, nine is not worth it, because it only pays two. And I need a wild card in there, or I need a six, so in this case, I just draw them all. Didn't work, did it? Just about to get you lucky. It's like in real poker. If the cards don't come to you, you can't play them. Now, here's an interesting hand, because I got a chance here to go for a small, straight flush. You see, if I could throw away that six, I can get a three of spades in here, and I get a straight flush out of this thing. I can get uh, 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 five of spades in here and get a straight flush out of this, or get another wild card. Let's see what happens this time. Got a flush. Most of these are just common sense and good judgment. Might as well hold a pair of queens. I need the three of a kind to get my money back. But if I had a pair of kings and a pair of threes, I wouldn't hold the pair of threes. I'd just keep the pair of kings. Two pairs no good. You don't get your money back with two pair. You say, what's good is one pair? Well, I might get three of a kind to get my money back. Why not two pair? Because I don't have a chance to get four of a kind if I keep the, the two pair. You say, but you got a chance for a full house. But a four of a kind pays more than a full house, and I always go for the money. In this case, let's just try to get our money back. Or we won. So when you play these machines, it's common sense and good judgment. Now here I got a, a choice of a pair of aces or a pair of jacks. Well, my name is Jim, so I keep the Jimmies. I don't know why, it's just a little hunch with mine. Uh, I don't have a chance for a three card royal in there. Uh, no chance for a straight, really. Uh, it's, it, the odds are too high, of course. Let's just try the pair of jacks, see what happens. Got my money back. Now, this is an interesting hand because I have absolutely nothing. I just hold a deuce. Why wouldn't I hold a king? Because a pair of kings doesn't do me any good. Why not hold a 10 or the three? Go for a three card uh, flush. It's not worth it. It's only when I got a four card straight flush that I would go for it. There's no chance for a straight flush here. So I throw away the 10, throw away the three, just hold the deuce, just a one wild card, and hope that something comes up. It did. Now, if you're playing a machine where it's Joker and Deuces Wild, play the same as Deuces Wild. Some machines got Deuces and Joker Wild, so you get an extra wild card. Big deal. Now, on this hand, there's nothing, of course, throw it all away. Still got nothing. It's just a matter of knowing how and when to use that deuce in your draw. Here, I just hold a pair of queens. Nothing else is worth holding. Let's at least try to get our money back. 
We did. Here we got nothing. There's no use holding a three card straight. Straights are not worth it. You only get two to one on the straight. I got nothing to hold there at all. Draw it all. Still got nothing when I finished. Now here I got a chance for a deuce, and that's it. Because I don't have a chance for there's any straight in here. I don't, you can't stretch it straight from a king to an eight. Uh, these are not suited. If the ace queen was suited, ace king was suited, I'd keep the two card royal and with my, I like three card royals, especially when I got a deuce involved. Gives me another opening on my draw. But here, just the deuce. Worked out pretty good, four of a kind. Here we got a pair of fours. Now, I wouldn't go for the eight, four, three. Now, I don't go for straight flushes unless they're together. I told you that. Unless it's a three, four, five or a four, five, six. And I'd even do it on a, on a Deuces Wild Machine because I don't mind getting a straight flush on a Deuces Wild Machine. But in this case, I think I'll just hold a pair of fours and try to get my money back. If not, something better. Didn't work. Not everything you do is going to work out great in these machines. Now I got a chance for a straight with a 10 jack king ace, but I don't like that at all. A two card royal is not worth it. Unless I got a deuce to go with it, I'd go for a three card royal. Do you want to try it? How lucky do you feel? Do you want to try it? I wouldn't. Just, just draw it all and see what happens. Hey, it didn't work either way. If you have trouble playing these machines, ask a change girl or sit at the bar. I don't like the bar machine so much because you usually have a, a better percentage at the bar, like an extra 1 or 2% in the bar machine chips because you get those free drinks faster at the bar. You're better off to play machines on the floor in a casino. Now here's no chance for going for a straight that's not worth it. I wouldn't even hold the ace. It's not worth it. You need three of a kind. Again, draw it all. You're going to do a lot on these juice wild machines, drawing it all, drawing it all, drawing it all. It's slow, painful death. They say when you're playing Deuces Wild and Deuces Jokers Wild, the payoffs are smaller, more frequent. You'll last a little bit longer, but you get longer droughts on Deuces Wild machines. But when they pay off, man, they pay off. There's three of a kind. Come on, let's get a good pain here. We got a chance for a straight. No, we got a chance for a flush. No, I got no thing. Draw it all again. Got our money back. Got a straight on it, too. Come on, let's give us something to work with here. There's a three card royal. You want to try the three card royal this time? Why not? The ten and the jack would not do it unless I feel lucky. And if you want, just hold a two card royal. God love you. But I got a deuce involved here. I wish that was the king of hearts. We'd be going for a wild royal right now. And a wild royal pays pretty good. But in this case, three card draw to a two card draw to a three card royal. Ah, we didn't get it. Didn't get the flush either. Hey, got a two card royal. If you feel lucky, you can go for a straight flush if you feel lucky. But again, they're not in a row. Should I go for the four card straight? I don't think so. And again, in this kind, deuces wild machine, draw it all. Got our money back. Pair of eights, go for a three of a kind. No chance. I wouldn't hold a seven, eight, nine jack because you'd have to draw a ten, one to an inside straight. I don't like to do that on a deuce wild machine. You don't get enough for a straight in a deuce wild machine. On a, on that, on a jacks are better, I might do that, especially if I feel like tens are running on the machine and I want to get a ten, I could go for a straight on a regular machine. But deuce wild, you don't get paid so much. I'll just hold a pair of eights. Now here's an example of two pair. What does two pair do for you here? doesn't do any good at all because you only get you don't get your money back you only get one chance at hitting a full house if i keep the pair of nines i got a one chance of getting four of a kind or if i keep the pair of eights i got one chance of getting four eights what do you feel lucky with eights or nine eights or nine? let's do the eights oh we got our money back most of these times it's just entertainment. As you see right now, I've been playing for about 15, 20, 25, 30 hands, and I still got as much money in the machine now as when I started. Hold a pair of sixes, three card flush is no good to you. A lot of this is just common sense. Nothing here, draw it all. Let's see if we can get a hand here and close off this program. Nothing in, nothing out. Get a good one here. Come on, let's get a good one here. A pair of fives with a deuce. Oh, let's see if we can get four fives and we'll have all our money back. Oh, full house. All right. As you can see, it's just fun. It's interesting and exciting. Look around, and I'll show you another Deuces Wild bonus machine right now. Let's get our money out. Cash out. All right. Okay, here's the Deuces Wild bonus poker machines. Now, let's get up to these payoffs in this machine, and always read those payoffs, too. Now, on this machine, for a straight or three of a kind, you get one back. 
For a flush, you get three back. For a full house, you get three back. Now, you've got to compare these to the last machine. Write down the payoffs on your last machine. Write down the payoffs on all these machines that I give you and compare all the payoffs. Four of a kind, you get four. Remember, I like to look for five there. Straight flush, you get 13. A royal flush with a deuce, you get 25. And a royal flush, you get 250 for your first coin going up to 1,000 with your fifth coin in. But here's where you start getting those bonuses now. Five sixes through kings. Remember, you can get five of a kind because it's a deuces wild machine. You can get 20 back with one coin. Five threes, fours, or fives, you get 40 back with one coin. Five aces, you get 80 back with one coin. For four deuces, you get 200 back with one coin. And look what that pays you up here. One thousand. $250 with your fifth coin in for four deuces, but look, you get four deuces with an ace and you get $2,000 back, $500. So there's some good payoffs right there. Four deuces, four aces, sorry, four deuces with an ace, and of course a royal flush. So get into those big payoffs on those machines. And if you have trouble looking around at these machines, ask a change girl. Hi, Jimmy to Scott here, and I'm going to show you the new machines now in Las Vegas called the multi-game machines. And they come out like there's Odyssey machines, and there's multiple bonus machines, and multi-game machines. You're going to see a lot of these come up in the future, so let me show you one as a sample and how to play them. They're really interesting. Multi-game touch screen, so all you do is touch the green, Bally's brings them out. New machine, there's all the games you can play. You can play Kino on here and regular slot machines. But we're interested in the poker machines on here. You've got draw poker, bonus poker, double bonus poker, deuces wild, and triple poker all in the same machine. Now, anytime you get up here, you just press the menu uh, and it'll tell you uh, all the games they have on any machine. Just press the menu, press the menu, press the menu, and all machines. Now, let's see what draw poker does in this machine. Now, let's get into the payoffs here for just straight draw poker. As you can see, you get one for jacks or better, two for two pair, three for three of a kind, four for a straight. Just got a straight on this machine, by the way. Here's a 5 8 machine, five for a flush, eight for a full house. You get 25 for four of a kind, 50 for a straight flush, 250 for a while. Well, that hardly ever changes. This is a 5 8 machine. Now, if you need help playing the machines, just press the help, and it gives you help on playing these machines. You can read it to start the game, how to play the game, how to hold your tickets. You want to exit, get back to your game. All right, let's get back to the menu and let's see what happens on the bonus poker game. Bonus poker. Payoff, jacks are better pays one. I just got two pair for two of a kind. Three of a kind pays three, four for a, a straight. This is a five, six machine. Look at it, you only get five for a flush and only six for a full house. Five, six, whoa, that's low. But look what they did, they added in here. In here. You get 25 for four of a kind, but look, for four twos, four threes, and four fours, you get 40. For four aces, you get 80. There's where your bonus, that's why they call it double bonus machine. If you need help, press the help button. You wanna exit, get out, exit back to your game. You wanna get back to the menu. Let's see what double bonus does in this machine. Double bonus, you get one for jacks of better and one for two pair. So remember about that two pair that I told you about? Watch that, please, only one for two pair. Three of a kind pays three, straight plays five. A flush pays six and a full house pays nine. So we're back up to six, nine. See, they take it from the bottom from two pair and they add it in here. You get 50 for four of a kind, you get 80 for four twos, four threes, and four fours, and you get 160 for four aces. And this, of course, is with one coin in. Now let's get on to the next machine, which is double bonus poker. Oh, that's what we just did, didn't we? Okay, let's get back to, uh, how about triple bonus poker? Triple poker. You get one for jacks or better, one for two pair, same as the last. Three on three of a kind, four for a straight, flush pays five, full house pays eight. So they've taken away a little bit from here now, and they've added it up in here. See, for four of a kind, you get 50 now. Four twos, four threes, or four fours, 120. For four aces, you get 240. There's where your bonus is on that. That's the triple poker machine. And finally, if you want to play Deuces Wild, press Deuces Wild. Here's your payoff for Deuces Wild. Look for four of a kind, pays four. So you got, if you need help, press your help button. It tells you what to do, the rules of play. Exit, get back to your game, get back to your menu. They're called multi-game maker machines. And I uh, here's one of the brand new machines here at the Stardust, and boy do I like them, and a lot of people like them too, called Treasure Chess Poker. They got a lot of new machines here at the Stardust, and let me tell you about three of them right now. This one's called Treasure Chess Draw Poker. It's regular poker. Here's your payoff with one coin in, and here's your bonuses over here, but let's start with here. Pair of jacks are better, you get one. Two pair of two, three of a kind three, straight four. It's a five eight machine. 5-8, but you get bonus for four of a kind. Now your Royal Flush, you get 250, you still get $1,000. For a straight flush, 50. With your fifth coin in, you still get 250. So the bonuses are right here, called treasure chest bonus, and here's how it works. Anytime you get four of a kind on this machine, five little treasure chests will appear on your screen. 
Now you pick one of those treasure chests and if it opens up, you get what money's in each treasure chest and you have a choice of five treasure chests and then the first treasure chest could be $35, the next one could be $45, the next one is $62.50, the next one's $125 and the big one is $1,149. One of these is like getting a royal flush. So every time you get four of a kind, you got a chance to get a royal flush for $1,149. They got another machine here at the, at the uh, Stardust, and it's called Starship Machine. Same thing, but at the end, five rockets come up when you get four of a kind. And you press one of the rockets and it explodes, and that's what you get. You get a bonus for your four of a kind. So they're really bonus four of a kind machines. Another kind of machine that are very popular around Las Vegas right now called the Reversible Royals and the Wraparound Royal. Now they got a Wraparound Royal where you get the Ace here, then you get the 10 Jack Queen King. In other words, everything's wrapping around the Ace. You get a bonus Royal Flush, and it could be double what the regular Royal Flush is. Now if you get a Reversible Royal, that is a machine where you get 10 Jack Queen King Ace or 10 and Jack, Queen, King, Ace. It's got to be a Royal Flush. Any Royal Flush, you get $1,000. But if you get a Reversible Royal, you can get a bonus $6,000, a bonus $12,000 on quarter machines, too. So you want to get that Reversible Royal. Now, a little tip. When you're playing Reversible Royals, if a 10 comes up here and a Jack comes up here and a Queen comes up here, I would throw with a Queen, if it's a Queen of Diamonds, keep the 10 Jack of Hearts. You don't want that Queen of Diamonds because you've got a 10 Jack in sequence already. You're starting your, your Reversible Royal. Now, if you get a Queen here, that's no good. It, it is, pardon me, but if you got a queen here, it's no good. you got to need the queen in the middle when you get the reversible royal. Anytime I need a 10-jack queen, I need the queen here, king ace, or a 10-jack queen, I need the queen here for a queen ace. So watch those reversible royals. But all these new machines are really exciting to play. They got a lot of new machines here at the Stardust. Almost every day I come in here, I see new machines. They got some new machines that just came in that I like very much called Real Deal Machines. Now they're regular video poker and you can read the payoffs, but on that, every time you get three of a kind, three little wheels come on your screen, on your machine. And it's a red, white, and blue real machine. And you press the button when it stops on blue, press this button, it stops on blue, press this button, it stops on blue. If you can stop it on three blue or stop it on three red or stop it on three white machines, you get bonus payoffs called Real Deal. Look for them. They also got machines here that I like and they're called uh, scratch card bonus machines. Now they're regular video poker machines. They got them in nickels, they got them in quarters. Make sure you look around at all casinos for all the new machines and ask the change girls where all the new machines are, the new video poker machines. I'd be glad to help you. This one's called scratch card. Every time you get a flush, 25 cards appear on the screen face back and you touch the screen for five of those cards and they turn over and if you get a well flush you get bonus, if you get a straight flush you get bonus, if you get four of a kind you get bonus, even three pair, even two of a kind, you get bonus on those machines. They're called bonus machines and they're all over. That's a scratch card and if you scratch and get a well flush on the scratch you get a million coins. Now how's that for action? All these new machines and by the way on that machine called scratch card machines you get the same payoffs you get on a double bonus machine. Whether they're dollar machines or five dollar machines, take them all in. Now here's one of the new ones I like, triple play, and make sure you use your card. Boy, oh boy, get those cards and use them all the time. It tells you when, how, many, how much you got in your balance, your bonus point balance, and when you win enough bonus points, you can go cash in and get money back. And don't forget, you don't have to ask a change girl anymore, just put your money in the machine. Boy, the machines are happy to eat up your money. Let's get some credits here and I'll show you, a demonstrate how this, you're playing three hands at one time. And by the way, the last winner just got paid 400, the winner on that machine's got 200. Those two gentlemen down there have got three and 400 credits already, they're nearing $100. They're not bad machines to play, but I learned one thing, when you lose, you lose fast. When you win, they pay good. You're playing three hands at one time. Now you can bet one credit if you want, and I'm just playing the one hand. You can bet that's one coin, one hand. Here I'm playing one coin on two hands. I'm betting one credit at a time. Here's one coin for three hands. But if you want the max on all three hands, just play the max and it goes to five, 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 and you're playing 15. Now, no matter, I got a three card royal here. Now watch what happens when I hold the three card, when I hold this three card royal. Hold a queen, hold a jack, hold the ace. You hold it all three. Matter of fact, whatever button you hold, I'm going to throw that card away, and I'm going to throw that card away, that, uh, that card away, that's for sure. I'm going to draw three card royal, and a different cards will come up at all three. So I got three chances at a three card royal. I got this hand, that hand, or that hand. Let's see if it works on any one of the three hands. What did I get? I got a pair of queens up here on that hand. I got a pair of jacks down on this hand. Now, I won a little, so every chance, these are called double up machines. You press that where it says double up, and now you got a chance to double your money. Now, I won 10 on that hand. Now, the dealer's got a four, and I'm gonna pick that 
card, that card, that card, or that card, and if any card beats that four, I've doubled to 20. They're called double up machines. Anytime you got to win, you got a chance to double your money. Kind of fun. Let's see how it works. I'll hold this card on the end. A seven. I won. Ah, cash out that money. I love to be a winner. Now, remember, when I told you that you're going for the um, dollar machines, play the big dollar machines, but let me warn you about, about video poker in closing, please. The odds of video world flush is 40,000 to one. You're going to play about eight, ten hands a minute because it only takes about five, five seconds and if you're long, you take maybe ten seconds, eight seconds per hand. So you're going to play about eight hands in a minute, ten hands in a minute. You're going to play about 500 hands in an hour. Now when you're playing dollar machines, you're putting five bucks in every time and you're playing 500 hands an hour. You can put $2,500 an hour into those machines. You gotta figure these odds out. So be careful with your money. Make sure you budget yourself, okay? And it's gonna take a long time to hit those rolls. They even got $5 machines here. Well, you buy special $5 tokens and put them in and you got a chance to win the big bucks. And the percentage on the $1 and $5 machines are even better than the quarters. Just watch out for those percentages on nickels, but if you're a beginner, that's where you should be starting. Why do these machines pay 100%? They do have 100% payback machines. You know why? Because most people play badly anyways. So then if you play perfect, it's a 100% machine. So don't worry, you're not gonna play perfect. The casino makes money. They're not here to give away money, you're guaranteed. But you can get over 100%. How do you do that? By getting in those clubs and getting those comp cards. You can have rooms comp, you can have food comp, you can have booze comp. You can even have your airfare paid to Las Vegas if you're a $10,000 player, put that money into the cage. Say hello to the slot host when you're here at the Stardust and all casinos. Introduce yourself to the slot host, tell him who you are, he'll give you that card, and you're already on their records. Slot machines, video poker, they're fun to play, they're easy to play, just make sure you budget yourself, budget, don't go crazy, you're losing, back off. It's a bad time to gamble when you're winning. Spend some in the morning, some in the afternoon, and some at night. If you're here for three days, work your budget all three days. Be careful about your money. Don't become a stupid, compulsive gambler. I'm a consistent gambler because I've lived in Las Vegas 35 years and I play every day. I'm betting on sports every day, I play blackjack every day, I play craps every day, I play roulette every day, I play machines every day, but machines are not one of my favorite. Budget yourself, look after your money, good luck to you, and God love you. Goodbye. How much? 56, 57?